Probably just gonna lie in my lap. <laughs> Come here, big boy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, you are heavy. <laughs> you break my, <laughs> my lap. <laughs> So they're communicating with me. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hello, my boy. Listen. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Good morning, everyone. Many of you have asked the question, why do you make the noises and the sounds that you do when you go and visit the animals? What do they mean? Um, what are you saying? Um, how do you know that the animals are understanding you? And uh, yeah, just explain a little bit more about the vocalizations that these animals make. We're going to be starting with uh, Bongo's clan of hyena because they are the most vocal. And one of the first noises you'll notice is that they sound like cows. They're, they're lowing. It's like a, a yeah, I got that right, Bongo. Demonstrate. All right, now that is a, a sound that they will emit um, when they haven't seen me for a while um, or when they haven't seen another clan member for a while. So they're communicating, they're saying, who is it? Is it you? And he's kind of like, it's kind of like a warning. So it's like a greeting, warning, it can escalate. So you'll notice that the, the lowing has stopped. Um, Bongo is still the one that is the most curious about what I have today with me. As Egypt, um, Tika and Quito. And we are dealing with the most dominant individuals here. <laughs> I make that noise, so I make noises, he makes noises. Um, my noises are warning, so I'm a warning noise to, to him, and I'm saying to him, I don't like the way you are um, addressing me. The real trick in the beginning of coming in with the hyena is to um, not talk too much. So any time one starts to talk too much, then the hyenas, um, specifically bongo, especially bongo, they start to um, get riled up. As he starts to calm down more and more, you can see. <laughs> now it's not so much a uh, unfriendly tone, it's more of now a come scratch my head tone and that's what he's after now so bongo kito tika <laughs> okay and i have kito rubbing his head on my head and now this is also communication guys so they're communicating with me <laughs> this is more of a chemical communication <laughs> So, yeah, they definitely are uh, um, in a different um, mode to when I first arrived. And, you know, the same animal five seconds later, or not five seconds, five minutes later, he's got his head um, in my lap or on my shoulder now. Um, and he is looking for some uh, much needed love. <laughs> he is really a character today. So what's also happening today is um, it's cooler because of the temperature change and we are we are starting to head into an autumn season. No, you can't have that. No, you can't have that. He's now after the fluffy on the camera. Pongo! <laughs> 
You know, real little pain today, my boy. All smelling my new shoes. Do you like them? What do you think? Weatherproof? Yeah. Are you in a snot proof? Woody dee. Woody dee 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 dee. <laughs> so that is the sound. Woody dee 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 dee. It's a friendly. So they will do that with themselves as well. They will emit those high pitch submissive. Um, the high pitched kind of squeal, it's very, they, they turn their lips up, they put their lips like that, and then they have this high, make this high pitched squeal. And it's a submissive thing, so yeah, there's no aggression there. That's it for this clan. I think they are all Kevined out. Got a bit of vocalization. It's not exactly what I would have hoped for. Um, more importantly, you can hear the way I talk to them. Um, so I will, if I do want to call the hyenas in, one of the things I, I did do just now is if I want to call them in and then I would go, So that's the result of my calling. <laughs> They've all come up uh, to see what's going on. All right, guys, so the next two animals we're off to see is Duke and Khan, uh, two black leopards. Did you hear that? <laughs> there we go. Nice, friendly. So Khan is a lot Khan is a lot more vocal than Duke. Not to say that Duke isn't a friendly cat. So that's another way I will call the leopards off. Come. Dukesta? What you say? Come. Somebody's uh, sneaking up on me there. <laughs> the leopards are currently being very friendly. Um, leopards can be very quiet. Um, so, he's moaning, so that's like a moan, but it's a friendly moan. I know what they want, so actually what they're wanting is some pulchards, so they've been all nice to me because they want pulchards, which I will give them, but uh, first I want to just talk a little bit more about leopard sounds. Uh, leopards are not the most vocal animals out in the bush, they are quite silent. Um, the leopards can make what's referred to as a leopard roar or what's known as a leopard saw. And why it's called a leopard saw is that when they are territorially marking or vocalizing, it sounds like a saw sawing through hardwood. So it'll go... <laughs> That's a pretty good... What did you think? Eh? <laughs> Duke, <laughs> you're such a, you're such a monkey. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I'm gonna give these two uh, lovely leopards some pilchards and some other sauce. Um, he's been waiting patiently. He's been, he's been. That's the other sound that a leopard makes. It's, it's a whimper, a whimper. Are you whimpering? Come here. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you if you walk away. Okay, fine. Come on. If you walk away, I'm not giving you pilchards. No, you say you don't care. I bet you do. Yeah. 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 You know I've got pilchards. Okay. Did you hear that? There we go. Good demonstration, boys. The 
the two piles and try and dish it out fairly. Okay. Come. Juki. I suppose the other sound a leopard makes is Yeah, and the growling obviously is the growling <laughs> Yeah, thanks Kev Thanks for the pulchards Now you can go <laughs> I don't mind I love the leopards. I love their attitudes. I love their demeanor. They, what you see is what you get. A lot of people say, um, you know, leopards are, are one of the most unpredictable of the cats that you can work with. And I would say their unpredictability is what makes them... <laughs> their unpredictability is what makes them predictable. Like old uh, card over there trying to get the lid of the um, pulchards. Little key thing. Without further ado, um, let's go and see Bobcat and Gabby. <laughs> and yeah, already as I drive up. Hello, boy! Whoa, are you looking? <laughs> hey! Hello, my boy. Listen. Whoa. Yeah. Where's Gabs? Where's Gabs? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hello, my boy. Mind the fence here, please. Mind the fence. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, my boy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Bobcat, I love it. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Listen to those sounds. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, my boy. He's a my boy. He's a my boy. <laughs> so guys, oh love my boy. So it's not very difficult. Um, it's not very difficult. Hey Bobcat. To see whether Bobcat is in a bad mood or not, eh? Um, in fact, it's pretty easy. You just walk up to the fence, you call Bobcat. <whistles> yeah, boy. Oh, oh, oh. And? <coughs> and you get that. <coughs> mm. 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 All right, now Gabby is coming, finally. Now watch what he does to her and her reaction to me. Oh. <coughs> Gabs, oh, look at her, she's all what we call pussyfooting around him. So let me go to her. Yeah, 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 Gabs. Hello, my girl. Oh, hello, my, hello, my sweetie pa. Well, don't be a bully. Don't be a bully to her. Don't be a bully to her, my boy. <laughs> So what Bobcat likes to do is he likes to bully her out the way because he wants all of the attention for himself. 
can't always have all the attention to yourself, my boy. Okay, I will take you now. Don't worry. It's Gabby's turn. Gabby, hello, my sweetie pa. Hello, my sweetie pa. <laughs> oh, God, Bobcat, you are such a... You are such a cool cat, both of you. So that's, that's a line greeting. So how will I greet Bobcat? I greet him the same way he greets me. It's basically... Oh, 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 oh. Even if I start talking. Oh, 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 You see, you see, yeah, my boy. Mwah. Yes, 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 yes. And again, guys, I'll use a higher pitch to talk to Bobcat and Gabby, as well as all the other lions, because um, they respond better to the higher the higher pitch. Yes, look at the ears, the ears, the ears. I prefer the higher pitch. But if I just talk normally, then there's no reaction whatsoever. So it's more to get the attention. Uh, it's that higher pitch. And they know that higher pitch is being me and friendly. And so that's that's the greeting. You know, I'll talk any of the lines that I come to see, I will I will use that greeting. It's a wow, like so, oh. Oh, 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 oh. And that is also the same greeting that a mother or a lioness would use um, to, to call her cubs. And I think there is memory of that um, in, the, in the adult lions that remember that, oh, um, as, as Gabby hasn't ever had cubs, but um, I think she, you know, primarily instinctively recognizes that sound as something, uh, as a friendly you know, a friendly tone. Um, so there's nothing to be scared of. Versus if I shout at Gabby, so if you talk about the language, I mean, I can also use the English language and I can say to her, no. And if I say no, her ears go back. And, and you, you know, you very soon realize she understands the inference of no. She might not understand the word no, but she knows no is you know no is no yeah comes big boy back he's probably just gonna lie in my lap <laughs> come here big boy oh hello my boy <laughs> hey <laughs> oh you are heavy <laughs> break my, oh, <laughs> my lap <laughs> in my lap okay bobcat you have demonstrated very well, very, very well. He has demonstrated extremely well what it means to be a talkative lion. All right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I really thoroughly enjoyed actually making it. So I hope it gave you a little bit of insight into the world of communication in the uh, hyena, the leopard and the lion, as well as the world that I've entered into and how I communicate with them. Till next time. Bye.